In our HealthCast today, researchers at the University of Florida, Go Gators, are finding promise in a potential drug against Parkinson's disease. The team at the Herbert Wortham UF Scripps Institute for Biomedical Innovation and Technology looking at ways to change the course of this disease. Specifically, they're focusing on a toxic protein called alpha-synuclein. We know that this toxic protein uh, gets made in these patients, and we figured out a way to cut up the recipe for making it so a cell cannot make it. The scientists are doing that with a very specific compound. The next step is to see how this compound works, make it really work better, make it more potent, and demonstrate it's safe in humans. And the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has finally settled a long-running lawsuit that all began during the pandemic. The suit stems from the social media posts that happened on Twitter and Instagram back in 2021. I'm sure you'll remember this, that anti-parasitic drug, uh, Intervectin that uh, was talked about. Well, the FDA was accused of discouraging people from using that drug to prevent or treat COVID-19. It was prescribed to treat neglected tropical diseases in humans, things like scabies, and it can also help to deworm animals like horses and cows. Well, in 2021, the FDA tweeted out, you are not a horse, you are not a cow. Serious, y'all, stop it. That tweet got nearly 106,000 likes. And the FDA said, in part, it chose to resolve the lawsuit without admitting any violation or wrongdoing. The suit was filed in 2022 by a group of doctors. And today, the Biden administration announced it's curtailing short-term health insurance plans, which they call junk insurance. They say the plans often leave patients contending with very big medical bills. According to the new rule, new sales of the insurance plans has to be limited to three months with the option of renewal for a maximum of four months total. Previously, the duration of the policies was to about a year, but patients could renew up to 36 months. The new rule also requires the plans provide customers with a better and more clear explanation of what their benefits are and show them how to find more comprehensive coverage elsewhere. Consumers who currently have short-term plans will not see changes in their policies.